Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, I do still hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. You know you want to be here. Just hit that button. Do us both a favor and come back next time. So today we're going to be doing a like Easter-ish, very pastel, very spring inspired look, but I'm taking it back. I'm taking it uh, a little retro. I'm doing kind of like 60s, 70s retro vibes. That's why my hair is all big and crazy. I wanted to go, I just kind of wanted to give y'all a vibe today. Uh, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm actually, I'm really kind of living for it. I'm loving it. And let's just, let's just do this. Using super, super affordable palettes. We're going to rock this out. Uh, this is what the look looks like. So pretty. Pink, uh, yellow, green, purple, all kinds of yummy Easter pastel-y springy colors. And it's super, super easy to do. You guys know we're all about high impact, uh, you know, high payoff, low effort. Uh, and that is definitely what today's look is all about. Uh, we're going to go in first with this uh, Profusion Pastel Palette. Uh, this I get from Walmart. They're $5 a piece. Super, super affordable. You get 10 shades really really generous pan sizes it's just a really great great pastel palette uh nicely pigmented just just a great palette all around we're gonna go in with a nice fluffy brush uh this is a no-name brush it's just a i would say it's like a medium uh to small blending blending brush and we're going to go into first this color right here, this really beautiful kind of sparkly purple shade. Uh, this is called Harmony, again, from the Pastels palette. And we're going to take this just throughout our upper transition area right through here. We're going to kind of tuck it right up underneath our brow. Uh, these are nicely pigmented, but again, but again, they're buildable. So you're not going to get a ton of pigmentation right off the bat but they do build on themselves really really beautifully so we're just going to start building this up right up underneath the brow and see how it's nicely pigmented now we're building we're building it's all about thin layers of beautiful beautiful pastel color i i just i needed to sit down and film because i am having a day i am having a day being a mother is equal parts rewarding and frustrating, and I'm having the hardest, absolute hardest time with my 12-year-old. Uh, he's 12 going on 40, and thinks he's a grown, he's a grown man. I have been asking him, I, and I know y'all can all sympathize with me uh, with exactly uh, with what I'm about to say, but I have been pleading with him, begging begging him to clean his room for, I don't know, I want to say forever, begging him to clean his room. And y'all, he just won't do it. He just won't do it. He says he does it. And then he does that half-ass stuff that just absolutely kills me. <sighs> Lord have mercy, save me. So that's what I've been doing for the last, like, I want to say three hours is arguing with my son, trying to get him to clean his room. I was successful eventually, but it was it was definitely a a pain to get there. I'm gonna go into another palette now, uh, just because I want a really pretty like light pink color, and there really isn't a pink in here that I really want to use. Uh, there's this like pretty kind of like pinky purpley shade, which is again super super pretty, uh, but not really what I'm looking for. And then there's this really pale pink, but again not quite the shade I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go into the BH Lost in Los Angeles palette. Oh, is it Lost in Los Angeles or just Los Angeles? Lost in Los Angeles. This is the most beautiful, oh, supremely perfect pastel palette you guys will ever, ever see. I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is called 90210. How perfect. So we're going to go into this shade just with the same brush. And we're going to start to bring this right up underneath. Look how pigmented that is. One swipe color, guys. It is absolutely stunning. We're going to bring this right up underneath that purple color and kind of blend it into it. Just kind of keeping everything nice and blendy. This is going to be one of those watercolor eyes where you can't quite tell where one shade starts and another one stops. 
just kind of everything really uh, works together and is married really, really well. I just love, there's something about pink and purple together anyway that is always so, so beautiful. Guys, I feel so weird with my hair big up and like done like this, but I feel like for the pictures that I'm gonna take y'all, it's <laughs> so much hair. Uh, and this is all my hair, by the way, no hair pieces. I just have everything kind of like uh, twisted up and then I have everything up with a scrunchie. It's, it's a lot of hair. There's a lot of hair up there, but I'm kind of into it. I don't know. I'm hoping for the pictures it's going to come out well. We shall see. I'm hoping that it gives me the vibe that I'm looking for. But I have just been arguing for the last three hours. So I thought what better way to sit and calm myself down before I go to bed with Mr. Hubby than to sit down and chit chat with you guys for just a little bit. One of my absolute favorite things to do. And then of course, playing some makeup because when is that not a good idea? Uh, so we have the pink on super, super easy, super quick application. It's blended in with that purple really, really nicely. It's given us just a little bit of a gradient. And now we're going to go into a super, super quick and easy, super simple cut crease. I'm going to take a little bit of, I'll just use this one. This is the Elf Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. We'll just take a little bit of this on the back of my hand and go in with my Do Color Concealer Brush. Same one I always use, just a flat, stiff brush. It's perfect for cutting a crease. I'm just gonna tap the tip into the product and I'm gonna follow the natural curve of my eye and I'm gonna take it just above because I have hooded eyes. You can see, you can always tell you have hooded eyes if when you open your eyes, part or more, like all or part of your uh, lid gets covered up. I have just a little bit of a hood right here. So I'm gonna take it just above that crease and I'm gonna start to press that concealer on. And we're not gonna wing this look out we're going to keep everything nice and soft and rounded. And notice how I'm just kind of patting and I'm not tugging or pulling on my eyelid in any way. Uh, that's going to that's a real good way to get uh, messy lines. When you're really wanting to try to get something nice and precise, just kind of pat that concealer on and it's going to go on nice and easy and nice and neat for you. I am so ready for spring to be here. It has been, the weather outside has been so nice for, I wanna say, the last like three days. It's been so beautiful, like, and you know that like great spring weather when everything's like super windy and like you can almost, it's it's rainy too, but it's like sunny during the day and then towards dusk it gets like, uh, you can smell the ozone and it gets nice and like, um, like rainy but it's just so peaceful and it's so calm and I'm starting to hear the frogs and the crickets oh sitting outside and drinking a cup of coffee is like especially like around dusk right after we put not around dusk but right after we put Sean to bed and like just standing out there for a minute and just listening oh, and just like enjoying the night is when it has fast become my favorite part of the day I really really love it my husband and I usually go out there and just kind of enjoy the night together for a few minutes before we go to bed just kind of like it just is so grounding it is it's so nice it's so nice so I can't wait to do that do you sorry can't talk and cut a crease at the same time. Do you enjoy going outside and just listening, just listening to, I know it sounds so silly, but just listening to the night. Uh, I feel like that's that's basically what we do. We just go out there and we listen We listen to the night. We, and the crickets and the frogs and stuff don't really sing during the day. So it's just kind of like a nighttime thing. And then not only that, but again, Sean's in bed, so it's quiet and there's no, there's no stress. It's just go outside and just chill and calm yourself down for just a minute and enjoy a hot cup of coffee or green tea. I've been really into the green tea here lately. Lipton makes this uh, passion fruit jasmine. 
green tea that I absolutely adore. It's so, so good. I am painting this concealer all over my eyelid. And I'm keeping my lines nice and crisp. And making sure I pack that concealer on nice and evenly. Just like that. And then we're going to put some more color on. Color makes me happy. If you guys are subscribed to this channel, color obviously makes y'all happy too. So you are my people. We're going to go back in to the uh, Profusion palette. And we're going to use this really bright, like, chick yellow. Like, baby chick yellow. It's so, so pretty. So this one right here. I'm going to use that on a, I want to say a detail shader brush. So just kind of like a small packing brush. I'm going to go into the shade Sunshine. And starting at my inner corner, I'm just going to press this onto that concealer. You might have to build this up just a touch because it is a true pastel yellow. And though it's pigmented, again, these uh, shadows are super, super buildable. So just don't get frustrated with it. Take your time and pack that color on until you're happy with your pigmentation. It'll happen quicker than you think it will. So you can't really tell that it's there right now, but it is there. It's a really beautiful, bright, sunshiny yellow, just like the name says. And I've taken that all the way up to the line of the concealer. And then just using the same brush, I'm going to go back into the Profusion palette and I'm going to go into the shade Good Luck. So this kind of like clover, I think, I think that's such a cute name because it's like that four leaf clover green. Uh, I play on words. Good luck, four leaf clover, clover. Super cute. Just using the same brush, we're going to pack this on in the middle of the lid. Again, taking it all the way up to the line of the concealer. I honestly have to say that this green is probably definitely in my top two of favorite shades in this palette. This green is so, so pretty. It is so pigmented. And I just love the tone of it. It's such a bright, happy green. I love it so, so much. And I'm just going to put that all over the center of my lid uh, from crease to lash line. And just blend it in and kind of fade it into that yellow so we don't have any clear lines of demarcation. Just like that. Already so, so pretty. So we're going to go into a really pretty blue now. For that, we're going to hop back over to BH Cosmetics into the Los Angeles palette, and we're going to use the shade LAX, this really, really beautiful kind of like, I want to say Robin's Egg Blue, so, so pretty. And again, just taking the same brush, going into this blue, I will say the BH Cosmetics formula is definitely better quality than the Profusion, but they're both beautiful, beautiful palettes. I will say the Profusion is a, is a definite, like, smaller price point. Uh, the Profusion palette is $5 at Walmart, whereas, excuse me, whereas the BH Cosmetics palette is closer to, like, $15, $20. But both beautiful, beautiful palettes. I'm going to take the shade LAX, and I'm going to continue to pack this all over my remaining lid space. Again, from crease to lash line. Look how pretty that is. Look how springy that is. They blend super, super easily. And both of these formulas work super well together. 
so you're not going to have issues with things getting patchy or crumbly. Everything works and plays really, really nicely together. Just like that. Look how pretty that is. And it, for some reason, just gives me, like, serious... Oh, this hair. This hair is killing me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Should I never do it again? Let me know. I just feel like it's a lot. It's a lot. I feel like, um... Wilma. Wilma, uh... uh Flintstone. I feel like Fred Flintstone's wife. You know how she's got that big kind of curly hair? That's how I feel like. I feel like I should have a bone right here. <gasps> that is a look. That is a look. Maybe I should do that. Ooh, that might be a few future video. Light bulb. Anyway, so I am in love with it. Super, super pretty. Everything's blended. Everything is just kind of wishy-washy uh, together. Just really working. And we're almost done. Super simple, super quick. We're going to take a slightly smaller brush now. I'm going to take this BH brush. This is from the uh, Say It Collection. This is the... I don't know. It's a teeny tiny blender. It's a teeny tiny like detailed fluffy blender brush. And we're going to go back in to the Profusion palette. And we're going to use a mixture of these two shades right here. So the shades Wishful and Clarity. Both absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shades. I'm just going to tap a couple times in each shadow, and I'm going to bring this all across my lower lash line. From corner to corner. Just kind of getting that blue shade on there. going to help our eye to look a little bit more open. Oh, so, so pretty. So pretty. Okay. For the inner corner, we're going to go in to uh, another, just another palette because I wanted, uh, I wanted a little bit, something a little bit deeper, just kind of like a pop of color on top of our pops of color. So I'm going to go into the ColourPop Ooh La La palette and I'm going to use the shade, ooh, open, open sesame. I'm going to use the shade Sandbar, this really beautiful bright pink right here. I'm going to take that on just another small detail brush. This is the Dew Color 12. And I'm just going to pop that right on the inner corner. Not a ton. I just want a bright little pop of color to break up all the pastelliness of everything and really just make it a little bit more interesting. It's something that is definitely not expected. Uh, so instead of it being like an inner corner highlight, we're going for an inner corner low light. And it's just going to make the whole look uh, just really pop and look so much more interesting than just a plain old pastel eye. I'm going to bring that down onto my lower lash line. Just a touch. And then make sure I kind of blend that into the purple. And soften the edges just a little bit. Just like that. Now, if you don't like this addition, you definitely don't have to do that. We are going to soften it slightly with a little bit of shimmer. But I just think it looks super interesting and not expected. And anytime I can do those tiny little details, those small touches to really take an eye look from here to here, it really does make a big difference. So that's where we're at. It looks super cute. We're going to add, again, a little bit of glitter. For that, I'm going to go into another Profusion palette. Uh, this is a really a pretty new Profusion palette. This is the Desert Sage palette. And my absolute favorite shade in here is the center shade. And it is the most beautiful, gorgeous glitter. It's so, oh, it's like holographic. It looks like unicorn, unicorn sprinkles sparkles. They're so, so pretty. I'm going to take that and just kind of pat this all over the lid. This is a truly spectacular glitter in the fact that it really does adhere to the lid without having to use any kind of glitter glue or any kind of a sticky base. 
it really is quite spectacular and then it just adds that little bit of magic uh, that really kind of brings this look this eye look to life I'm so so into it that is all we need from you thank you so much for coming we love you you're beautiful we will see you next time and then for again a little bit more of because we've all it's all matte. It's an all matte eye look. So, of course, we've got to bring a little bit of light to the party. So, for that, I'm going to go into my ABH Norvina Volume 5. Uh, just because there's a really, really beautiful shimmer in here that I think is perfect uh, for this application. I'm going to go into the shade B, B1. So, this one right here. This is what she looks like. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, like, white shimmer. It's got like a gold kind of flip to it. Really, really beautiful. Perfect for this eye look. Again, I'm just going to take that on a like detail blender. I'll use the same uh, one that I used to apply the pink. I'll wipe it off on my towel first. Take just a little bit on my brush and pat that over the pink and bring that down onto the lower lash line just a touch. And then we're going to put some just a little bit under the brow bone, right under the brow bone. Just to bring the light, just to bring a little bit of uh, pizzazz to the party. I also want to dip into, let's dip into E1 just a little bit. So this shade right here. I feel like the shimmers in this palette truly are exceptional. They're so, so gorgeous. It's just a really pretty pale pink shimmer. And we'll go right over and slightly underneath that icy highlight just to kind of warm it up a little bit and help it marry into the eye look just a little bit more. And I am taking this quite a bit further and I did that icier highlight just to kind of warm everything up and really melt everything together. I'm going to do that on both eyes. So, so pretty. I just am so in love with this whole vibe. Oh, okay, so we're going to do a little bit of black liner. So I went to Burke's the other day. I went to the doctor's. That was my last video. If you guys didn't check it out, you guys definitely should. I went to Burke's and I found a couple of really, really nice treasures. Uh, one of which being this Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. I, It's so nice. I, You know, this definitely surprised me. I still like my Milani better. Uh, it's creamy and it's nice and dark, but it's still not as rich and like effortless as my Milani liner is. So it's still my favorite. Uh, this is all right though. I definitely would not pay full price for this. I just don't think it's worth it, uh, but it will suffice. So we're gonna line our both of our tight lines. So we're gonna do the upper and the lower water lines. Not going super heavy on the lower waterline, just a little bit uh, to kind of frame the eye. And if you wanted to use a nude or a white instead of a black, you definitely could. I like to use the black because it sets off uh, the blue in my eyes and really helps to make them pop. But if you wanted to use a lighter color, it would definitely be called for with this eye look. I'm going to put this away. And then I'm going to go in with my liquid liner. So this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner Epic Ink. Yes, I just in the shade black. This is the waterproof variation because my eyes have been so watery. Allergies, tis the season. Uh, so my eyes are super, super watery. So anything waterproof is just kind of like a lifesaver for me right now. And I'm just going to line my lash line, my upper lash line.
just do a super thin line nothing too uh, like in your face but just enough to help my lash line look a little bit thicker and then I'm going to go in of course with my total temptation this is so good so this is one of those mascaras that was not super impressive upon opening but the longer it sits the better it gets this it was not a builder I was not impressed but guys this builds so effortlessly now it's so so beautiful without being clumpy it is so so nice Again, this is just in the shade black, just your classic black mascara. But I love the wand. It really clings and separates the lashes. And really manages to give you both length and volume. It is so, so nice. I really, really am into this mascara. Just do a nice coat. I like to really wiggle the mascara wand at the root of my lashes and kind of curl it forward. Just like that. We're also going to do a light. Coat on the bottom lashes uh like 60s vibes they you know how they had those like really kind of spidery lower lash line lashes that's kind of the vibe that i'm going for so i almost kind of want them to be just a little bit clumpy i don't know i'm totally into it i think it's so so pretty so that is the eye look for the most part. Uh, anything else we have to add? Y'all, I think, I honestly think that we're done. Uh, let's do a little bit of a lippy. So the lip that I have on right now is a Milani lipstick. This is the Milani in, this is the matte fetish lipstick in the shade Peony. So pretty. Uh, I, I'll, I think that this is like a dupe for like Charlotte Tilbury. I, I heard that from Juicy Jazz. She kind of compared them and I think she is totally right. Uh, it is super, super similar. Of course, I don't have the original Pillow Talk to compare it to, uh, but you know, from what I've seen, they look super, super similar. So you could definitely use this. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, but if you wanted to go with something just a little bit brighter and just a little bit more fun, uh, this is the Milani Color Finish Lipstick, but this is the glossy version and this is in the shade Voyeur. This is a beautiful, beautiful, bright, kind of like hot pink. Glossy lipstick. It's not too much. But it's just enough. I'm not going for like a lip liner. Usually I do a darker lip liner. To really kind of define my lips but for this look I wanted to keep everything nice and soft and just keep everything very fluid and organic so that's what we're gonna do no lip liner we're just gonna have soft pink lips and that is the look for today let me know what you think in the comments below uh definitely I will leave uh I will leave all the products that I used in today's video in the descrip description box, along with the link to my Facebook page, Makeup for the Everyday Mama. I always go over there and I post finished pictures. Uh, I don't ever use like smoothing filters or Facetune, none of that. What you see is what you get. I do mess with the lighting, but that's because my lighting setup is not ideal at the moment. So I do try to show off the makeup to the best of my ability, but I never alter anything. I never mess with my base or anything like that. So when I post a picture, believe me, you can trust what I'm posting. And I feel like <clears throat> you get a better idea and you can really kind of zoom in and really look at things in a picture that you can't always in a video. Everything kind of moves too fast. So definitely I will put the link for that in the description box below. So click that link. Make sure you go over there before you guys leave. Make sure you like and subscribe. I definitely, definitely would appreciate that. Any kind of constructive criticism you guys have to offer is accepted and welcomed as well. Uh, that is going to be all for me today. I love you so, so much. I know that your time is precious and I am so grateful that you choose to spend it with me. Until next time, my lovelies, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.